third time this year. The Ohio University Baseball has swept the Mid-American Conference Series, and for the ninth time this year, Ohio's starting pitcher went the distance for the winner. Hi, everybody. I'm Russ Eisenstein, the voice of the Ohio Bobcats. Blake Brody is alongside. We're at Lee Jackson Field on Akron's campus, where Ohio got it done 3-2 to sweep the Akron Zips, and Seth Strike went the distance for his third complete game of the year. It was a tremendous effort by Seth to go all the way through, start to finish, and get it done. And another sweep for the Bobcats, two big elements to Sunday. Yes, it was. And Seth Strike just kind of kept the, the torch rolling. I mean, it all started with Brent Chauvin on Friday with a great complete game. And then uh, Boomer Moulton pitched a, pitched a good one in, in the middle game. And then Seth Strike just did it again today. Uh, his third complete game, as you said, and he just was dominant throughout. And he especially, you know, he got better the later the game went, which is uh, that's kind of an attitude thing. He's, he's a bulldog on the mound, and he really showed it today. He got better as the game went, and he was uh, great in that ninth inning. Struck out six, walked one, pitched very well towards the end. And much like the last couple of games, Akron made it tough on the Cats in later innings, but Ohio made the right kind of plays towards the end to bend but not break and get it done. Now, from a, a game standpoint, they don't all have to be line drives to produce a run. Ethan Newton today, two parts of his ball game. One, the go-ahead RBI in the eighth, a little flare just in the left center field to bring in the winning run. And he set the all-time steals record with 43 for his career, passing a record that stood from the early uh, 90s. Mark Sims has been passed now as... Uh, Ethan has 43 stolen bases for his career. Yeah, congratulations to Ethan Newton and the fact he's able to set the, the record and just his sophomore campaign. That says a lot about uh, him and talking about Carbone after our radio broadcast broadcast about how it's an art form stealing bases. It, it, it doesn't just take speed into account. It takes you know vision and knowing when to pick your spots. Ethan Newton has done that at, the, at, a, at a rate no other Ohio Bobcats has been able to do. So Ethan Newton, not to mention he steals gets the steals record also, the game-winning RBI. So a really good game for Ethan Newton today. So now Ohio is 5-3 in the Mid-American Conference weekends this year. That's a third series sweep. Swept Buffalo at home, swept Northern Illinois on the road, and another road sweep here. Ohio will take on Miami coming up next weekend in advance of the MAC tournament. Ohio will have a very high seed. Ohio will take on Dayton midweek. And the biggest thing about all of this is you want to play your best baseball at the end of the year. And right now Ohio is doing all the right things to have that proper momentum rolling into the MAC tournament. And not only did they sweep the series, they won three one-run ball games, which says a lot about a character of a the character of a team and being able to make the winning plays down the stretch. And you know, Akron, they they lost the three one-run games and they made mistakes down the stretch. Ohio, they made the winning plays. They come out the, the winners and now they'll head into the final portion of their schedule with that swagger back that they lost after a series loss to Bowling Green and swept by Kent State. They're back at it. Got that swagger now. So Ohio is now 15 and 9 in Mid-American Conference play, and Ohio is back over 500 at 26 and 25. It was a series sweep over the Akron Zips, winning 3-2 on Sunday, winning uh, by one run in each of these contests, 4-3 in the opener, 9-8 in the middle game. Fun hanging out with you this weekend. We'll uh, see you for the first game of the series against Miami. Our SID and friend Tom Simmons did visit with uh, Seth Strike after the ball game and Joe Carbone as well. Those interviews follow. Now for Tom and for Blake, I'm Russ Eisenstein. So long from Akron. Happy Mother's Day. This is Bobcat TV. I'm very fortunate to beat them. Uh, I mean, it was three close games and uh, they played hard. I thought we played hard. I thought it was three good college baseball games and we were very fortunate to come out on the on the winning edge here for uh, for Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So, but we'll take it. You know, our, our kids played hard and uh, I thought they did a good job today, especially. You know, we hope this continues. We, uh, we're we getting a little bit more mature, having a little bit more poise. Uh, you know, not don't seem to get as rattled uh, when uh, things don't go our way. So hopefully, uh, you know, as the season progresses, we've matured as a team, too. Um, today was just it was a good performance by me. Last week I struggled against Kent State. That's no secret. Um, so today I really just wanted to focus in and have a lot better of a start than I did last time and help the team out a little bit more than I did last weekend. And that, that was the biggest thing that I was concerned with before the game was just doing my job, controlling what I can control and making quality pitches. Um, it's, it's big and especially playing at Akron, they're a quality team. They got some good pitchers and some hitters that can put the ball, in, put the bat on the ball, excuse me. Um, and it's, it's, I mean, it's big for us. First of all, it's a bounce back weekend from Kent, who's always tough and hopefully we get another chance at them. Well, we're excited about that, and uh, I think it's a great experience for uh, not only all the student athletes in high university, but all the student athletes in Mid American Conference to play in a Mid American Conference uh, baseball tournament. It's one of those special thrills I think the kids get. So we're excited about being in the tournament. 
Uh, but we have four more games to play, and we want to work on, uh, on our game and get better before we get there.